Brad, you've brought us to a, play, a road called McCracken Road. Uh, why have you brought us to this particular site? Well, this morning we've come to McCracken Road because this is the site of the Edgecombe earthquake. So in March 1987, the Edgecombe Fault, which is running through here, where the area we are, that fault moved and the ground on our left went down three metres and the ground on our right stayed. Um, so the ground dropped three metres during that earthquake. So we're standing right on the fault line? That's right, we're right on the fault now. It's been repaired with the road. The area we are here dropped three metres in 1987. But you can kind of see it, can't you, looking here at the slope of this paddock behind us? That's right, if you look out behind us, you see where the, the white shed is behind us and the trees, and then it drops down to this lower level. And, and that's you know what happened, the earthquake pulled the ground apart and one side dropped down relative to the other. And so there would have been those effects seen throughout the region, um, geologically speaking, or was it mainly just this one fault line? Yeah, there was, and during the Edgecombe earthquake, only one fault ruptured, the Edgecombe Fault, is about 12 to 13 kilometres long, and we're in about the middle of it. So as we go north towards the coast, it sort of disappears and peters out, and as we go south behind us towards Kaurau, it also peters out there. So there's about 12 kilometres through here where the ground was displaced and one side dropped relative to the other. And what sort of uh, impacts um, occurred as a result of this fault rupture? Um, the biggest impacts all through here was the fracturing of the roads. So the roads were all broken and displaced, so you could no longer drive through the area. And the other impact was over here behind us is the town of Edgecombe. And the dairy factory and the houses there were, were impacted from the earthquake shaking. Um, lots of the buildings, um, small buildings collapsed, um, garages, etc. like that. Over at the dairy company, the big stainless steel silos holding the milk, um, they were not well supported. They started swaying with the milk inside them and then ultimately fell over. Yeah, I actually had family who owned a shop in Edgecombe and my grandma who was working in the shop at the time remembers the Cass Register going flying through the air um, as well as them ducking for cover. What sort of lessons were learned from this earthquake? Because it was the first earthquake that New Zealand had experienced in a couple of generations, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right Andrew. This is the first big earthquake that New Zealand experienced. So it basically just gave this whole new generation of people the opportunity to learn about what an earthquake was, what does the shaking feel like, and how to prepare for the earthquake, how to be resilient. And it, it was just an opportunity to bring this back into the New Zealand sort of conscience and for people to think about earthquake hazards and how do we prepare for them and what do we need to do. Yeah, good. Hey, thanks, Brad. Mm -hmm.